Hi, I'm Brian Mann from SportbikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to give you a close-up look at the custom technique suit that was worn by Josh Hayes when he did that one-off MotoGP ride for Tech 3 Yamaha. Josh Hayes, three-time AMA Superbike champion. It's 2012 now. Congratulations, Josh. He is one of the most well-liked riders on the planet. Hardest working guys out there. And he's out there kicking ass and making it happen. He's got a long-standing relationship with Technique. He's been in their leathers a long time. And he's really helped them develop their racing suit line. This is one of the suits that he rode in for that race. It was custom built in a very short period of time to get him ready for that race. This is based off of their accelerator suit frame. But it is custom built for Josh. And there are some differences between this and the stock one. And we're going to kind of try and detail those for you as we give you a close up look at this suit. Of course, man, I'm a huge monster fan. I love that stuff. Nectar of the Gods. The logos look phenomenal on this suit. Very cool for sure. And the Tech 3 colors, good looking stuff. This suit is really, really light. I had my brother Josh throw it on the scale to get us a weight on it. He said he left the hanger in it and it barely crept over eight pounds. Wow, is that crazy light. In the GPs, it's important the suits are light. They don't want to add weight to the riders. They work hard to keep the bikes at minimum weight. They work hard to keep the riders as light and fit as possible. So they don't want a suit adding 15 pounds to a rider because that can degrade the performance. So when they made this for Josh, they do things to lighten it up that they don't do on the stock suits. And I think in my mind, that makes the stock suit actually a little better because there's more double layers of leather. There's more protections built into it. At this level of racing, they need this thing to work if he falls off one time. We buy a suit, we hope, you know, if we do fall, we hope it's still in usable shape so you can continue to ride in it and it can withstand another crash. Brands like Technique and other big brands out there, they do strive to try and deliver that type of performance. Every crash is different and sometimes, you know, all circumstances line up and you'll get more damage than anticipated. And it might need repair after one crash. That does happen sometimes, but understand they really work hard to give it that durability for more than one. GP suits, not so much. One fall, it's done. They go to the trailer, grab another suit. We don't, unfortunately, have that luxury. So... That's the reason the suit's a bit heavier, because they add more to it. The kangaroo in this is thinner than the kangaroo in the stock accelerator suit. It's about 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters thick. The whole thing is constructed from kangaroo, where the accelerator does use a little bit of cowhide blended into certain strategic areas. Air blade system. This is developed by Technique, hard outer shell. Energy absorbing foam behind the back, CE certified, same deal, it's stitched on the accelerator. Okay, so you're gonna get the same protection in that area. They're using essentially the same armor and the elbows, forearms, and knees that you're gonna find in the accelerator. Comparable you know, amount of perforation, actually a little more in the stock accelerator and some of the arms and, and those areas. Comparable stretch materials are used. You'll even see that on the back of the leg here, they're varying the stretch material right behind the knee. They've done that on the stock accelerator as well. They just find that that is a non-impact zone and it works better for the rider if you have a real stretchy fabric, a thin fabric back there. It makes it more comfortable, easier to move around. This suit's custom built for Josh. I find that most of the leather stretch panels are the same, okay, most of the stretch fabric Placement is the same, except for you do find some more leather stretch panels on the stock accelerator. I think that's another bonus, right? Because it allows the suit to fit a wider range of people. If we happen to put on a little weight or take off a little weight, it kind of moves with us, which is, does tend to happen, okay? And it just allows it to move better on your body. This is built right for Josh. That's not a huge concern because it's right to their specification. They've got such a history with him. They've got that dialed in big time at this point. The stock accelerator also has an elbow slider, which we don't see on the GP suit. Remember, that would add weight. They don't want to do that. This only needs to work one time 
our suits need to work more. Let's take a, a last look at this and then we'll show you the stock one and just kind of detail some of the comparisons I made. I love the use of the logos. These are screen printed and stitched over. Very thin material used to avoid adding weight to the suit. Got the Haze logo here. This is kind of cool. Screen printed panel here on the top of the hump. That's pretty sweet seeing Technique out there on the GP grid with Josh for sure. And there is the front of the suit. We've got a stock one here, put that to the side. Just kind of show you some of the points that we talked about. Same air blade system, tons of perf in the front. You can see more extensive use of the stretch paneling, right? They shape this in kind of a U, they're intersecting panels, right? You've got your panel all the way up the shoulder here, intersecting that Kevlar stretch there. They're actually adding some additional memory foam here in the upper arm to help protect you. There's your elbow slider. Double layers of leather. They avoid doing that on the GP suit because remember, one crash and out. This has a lot of double layering used, especially in the seat of a suit. And also, there is a curtain they put behind this stretch panel, right? It's a curtain of leather. So if this is to be violated, it wears through. You still got leather there. You're good to go. I'll show you one of the spots that is very similar is they're using a very lightweight stretch fabric here, right? Where the knee bends. Same deal as the GP suit. That's something they learned from Josh. They added that to their stock stuff. And that's it. That's just a quick close-up look at how GP technology, racing technology, makes its way to the very same products that we all buy, ride in, and use. I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com.